My name is Scott Hocknell. I'm the Senior Curator of Geosciences at the Queensland Museum. I grew up in uh, Darwin and uh, moved to Queensland when I was a teenager and I've always been passionate about dinosaurs and paleontology, the study of life in the past. And coming out to Winton is one of the most exciting experiences that I've ever had where you actually come and find 98 million year old dinosaur bones. And we're, what we're dealing with here is uh, a period of time which we know very little about. 98 million years ago, dinosaurs roamed this land. Big ones, the giant plant eaters we call sauropods, uh, the carnivorous ones uh, that uh, chased them and ate them. And we're finding their bones preserved all through this country. It's the first time that they've ever been found in this sort of quantity before. So finding a dinosaur that's 98 million years old, no other human has ever seen this sort of specimen before is one of the most exciting thrills you could ever have. When we come out here to Winton, we interact with the public, we interact with the community, and that's actually forged an amazing link with the Australian Age of Dinosaurs, which was formed in 2003 and uh, it's basically based here in, in Winton but it's a national organisation which looks at the conservation, preservation and documentation of Australia's dinosaur natural history. It doesn't matter if you've never studied paleontology before and you're not a scientist. Nowadays you can come to the Australian Age of Dinosaurs, volunteer and actually learn how to dig up dinosaurs, prep the fossil bones and contribute to your own natural history. It's the, one of the only places in the world that you can actually do this as a layperson coming off the street to see what happens to these dinosaur bones right from the word go. I'm currently here in Winton and uh, we've had a two week field trip excavating a site that has become one of the most uh, nationally significant sites in Australia. And it's significant for, for two main reasons. One is that it's got the most concentrated dinosaur bone ever found in Australia. And the second one is that in amongst those bones is Australia's most complete carnivorous dinosaur. We've nicknamed that dinosaur Banjo. Its scientific name is Australovenator wintonensis, which basically means Winton's Southern Hunter. The second dinosaur that we have from the site is Matilda, nicknamed after Waltzing Matilda. Its scientific name is Diamantinosaurus matildae, which basically means Matilda's Diamantina lizard, named after the Diamantina River where the site is close by. These two dinosaurs were trapped in the same deposit, the same fossil deposit 98 million years ago. So we're not really sure how these fossils came to be together in the same deposit because one is a plant eater and the other one is a carnivore, a meat eater. We do know that the fossil deposit represents an old water hole, so basically a 98 million year old billabong. So perhaps Matilda came down to the billabong to drink and got stuck in the mud and Banjo, looking for a free feed, came down to the water hole to eat Matilda. Or perhaps it was just something as simple as a flood. Perhaps these two animals were caught in a flood and the receding flood waters left their bodies stranded in a, in a boggy water hole. We're not too sure because we haven't found all of the fossils yet and there's going to be years to come before we know exactly what happened 98 million years ago to preserve both Matilda and Banjo together in a, in a 98 million year old grave. We are only just at the start of our dinosaur rush or our, our dinosaur exploration and it's going to be years before we can understand how many different dinosaurs we had out here and what our natural history says about our past and of course our future. But we've got to start somewhere. So we've found a big plant-eating dinosaur, Matilda, and we've found a, a, a relatively large but not gigantic carnivorous dinosaur, Banjo. I call Banjo the cheater of the Cretaceous in Australia because it was a medium-sized carnivorous dinosaur. It would have probably been able to chase down its prey very fast, but of course it's only the cheetah. We're still looking for that lion, the really big carnivorous dinosaur. We have a fragment of a tooth from a very large meat-eating dinosaur, much bigger than Banjo. So now all we need is, is its skeleton, and then Australia will have for the first time its answer to T-Rex.